Well, it's been a little while since I've done one of these project videos, but uh, this is a little winter project that I'm um, uh, that I'm uh, doing at the moment, which is uh, again using the Arduino. Um, but this time I am building a, a thermostat for our heating system. Um, in uh, in in our house, we've never had a, a proper thermostat. It's always been a basic timer, which just you know turns on the heating at a set time, turns it off, which really is very rubbish because uh, it's either too hot or too cold which is not good so I was going to buy a thermostat but I thought no no I would um, I'd build one so my first attempt um, at building one was uh, using a tablet PC hooked up to the Arduino using serial commands uh, to um, ask the Arduino what the temperature was and the Arduino was connected to a temperature sensor and um, and it was read the temperature that way there's a sort of a picture of it here um, so this is the uh, the tablet PCI I had hooked up running a .NET application. It's hooked up to to the Arduino and uh, via USB and just sending it serial commands. But that is a little bit overkill for a thermostat. So I'm now working on this much more embedded version. So I've moved all the logic over to to the Arduino's um, uh, processor. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd give you a demonstration of what it's not quite finished at the moment. But what I have here. Um, is right. So we have an Arduino. I need to move this in some better light. Um, but right. So let's see if I can move the light along here. That's uh, not too bad. Yeah. So we've got the Arduino here. Uh, the Arduino is going to be hooked up to um, a temperature sensor. And but at the moment I've got it hooked up to four buttons. I've actually got it in a in this project in this box, this sort of project box, which is like three quid from Maplin's. Um, and I've got some four buttons hooked up to here, so I can actually control it. Uh, and then the buttons are hooked over, hooked up to the digital I/O pins. And then uh, I'm using uh, the very well-known TV out library. Um, so what I've got is a, uh, this is basically an, a very basic LCD monitor which was something like 12 quid on Amazon and uh, I've ripped it apart and I've basically got the power cables um, that were essentially, well here's, this was the other, this was the back part of the, the LCD monitor but, right, so these were the cables that came with it. Um, and one basically it just had a, a composite input um, so I've connected that composite input to uh, a 1k resistor and a 470 ohm resistor and I've got those going to pins uh, 12 and 11 on the Arduino and so the Arduino using the TV outer library is basically simulating a composite signal uh, and I'm then using that uh, to um, create a very crude and basic menu system so I can uh, set different thermostat settings so I can just go through those settings now so let's just put those and so what I've got I've got a very basic menu system so that you've you press uh, this is sort of up that's down that's select and that is back so if I want to go down I can sort of choose and highlight the different options so showing the status um, this is basically a work in progress but I want to enhance this status screen a little bit so at the moment it shows the current temperature, desired temperature um, oh, and it shows the time um, and you know a little face maybe a happy face if it's nice and uh, warm, a sad face if the temperature is not quite great um, and maybe some status as what it's currently doing if it's got the heating system turned on or what using a relay um, and then what else have I got? So then you've got set date and time. You basically press select to highlight the different options to set the time. Um, and let's go back. So then you just, yeah, so you adjust the time like that. It's very simple. Um, and then I've got another option here, set desired temperature. So then you use the up and down buttons to set your desired temperature. And then, 
you've got a seven day timer which I've coded into it. Um, so basically you are presented with each days of the week at the top and then when you hit select uh, you're able to navigate to each of the different times so um, when you press select uh, that option will turn into a 1 which means the heating will come on at 1.30 and you keep setting these to 1 so it will now come on from 1.30 from through to 2.30 and so basically you can do that all throughout the 24 hour, four hours of the day um, and then you can do that throughout each of the um, uh, so you press back and that gets you up to the top selection and then it's remembered those selections for that Monday um, so yeah that gets a seven day timer it's it's um, you know half hour increments because I figured that's pretty good um, that's not too bad and then as you go back um, I've got another option here called adjust clock speed I've not implemented that yet but uh, what that's going to do is um, that's going to basically adjust how fast the clock ticks over because I've had issues with maintaining time on the Arduino and using the TV out library and the fact that the TV out library uh, slows down the system somewhat as it's trying to generate a, uh, a composite signal so uh, so 1000 milliseconds no longer is a second it's roughly 300 milliseconds so I don't know quite what it is yet but um, I'm gonna play around with some values and hence I've got a menu option there just to speed up the clock or slow down the clock. So if the clock ends up being too fast I can increase the value for a greater delay and so forth. Uh, so that's where I'm at the moment. A uh, very basic, um, once it's done I'm basically just going to have it on the wall. Um, it's very very low power, I've just measured it now, it takes about 100 milliamps of power and that's most of that's probably just for the display. Um, so yes, it's about yeah about a tenth of an amp, which is very low power and um, way uh, more appropriate than this overkill tablet PC I had uh, doing the job at the moment. So um, yeah, lots of fun.